I am Adil Kumar and in this video we will answer the question can a random variable have negative output. Now random variables are defined to link or to associate the sample space with some rule right. So we will take up a very simple example to answer this question which is can a random variable have negative output. Uh, let us consider two fair coins. Right? Let's consider two fair coins. Right. So if you toss these fair coins, what is the sample space? So in this case, the sample space is we could get two heads. We could get head and a tail. We could get tail head or we could get two tails. Right. So these are the possible outcomes when you perform this experiment many number of times. Now, we can define a random variable which can link these, all these outputs of an experiment with a rule, right? So that random variable, let it be x. Now this x could be defined in many different ways for the same sample space. So we can say x is such that we are interested in finding the difference between number of heads and tails, right? So in this case, we want to know that x actually denotes number of heads take away or subtract number of tails right so let that be the rule by which this random variable defines a relation so it's kind of a function as you know so for this particular function the inputs will be the domain of the sample space and outputs will be real numbers, right? So outputs of a random variable are always real numbers, correct? Now let us see what output do we get for this, right? So, so we have different possibilities. The first one is two heads. Now if two heads are there, then the difference between head and tail is is 2 right since there is no tail here now in the second case when we have head and a tail then both are one each so the difference is 0 in the second case also it is tail and head difference is 0 and in the third case where we have two tails differences 0 minus 2 which is minus 2 do you get it so in this particular case as you can see we do have output as a negative number right minus 2 is it okay so it is always possible to get output of a random variable as a negative number right so it is important to note that the the output of a random variable is always a real number. So real numbers include zero and negative numbers also, right? Therefore, the output of a random variable can be a negative number. I hope the point is clear. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.